So, you know, it grabbed the snowsuit and it just, it continually ran me over. So, well, I guess when it finally stopped, it threw me across the street into like a snow drift. Um, they had a hard time finding me, I guess. And that's where they found me was in a snow drift. Um, which in turn, I think that's probably one of the things that saved my life because it made me so cold I didn't bleed out. Um, you know, I was, we were rushed to the hospital. Uh, I ended up losing one leg above my knee, just kind of, if you took a knife and cut your femur bone away from the tube, uh, like tibia and fibula bones, that's what my left side is. And on my right side, I, I don't have anything. I just have a hip socket. Um, you know, it's been, it's been a fun life. <laughs> I've had well, well over 125 surgeries. And it, it's still counting. I mean, I have them yearly. But, you know, that's what happened, you guys. It was just a... It almost looked meant to be. You know what I mean? I, I should not be here. God was looking out for me that day. There's... I, I see it all the time on the news. People get hit by trains and don't live. I don't know how in the hell I lived. But I did. And I'm here for some reason. One day, hopefully I'll know what that reason is. But, um, yeah, I was talking to you guys, you know, about the conductor and all that of the train. He uh, was retired.